Hello and welcome friends, I'm Mordex, and this is Let's Play Micron. So last episode we uh, finished up with the main levels here, and we're going to go ahead with the bonus levels. And actually off camera I spent quite a bit of time working on these bonus levels. Um, I had a suspicion they were going to be pretty fiendish, and I was right. Uh, they took me quite a long time, and I actually had to look up a couple of them because I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So I'm going to go back through, and this is going to serve more as like a uh, kind of like a walkthrough, uh, just because they're so tricky that it would be like episodes and episodes and episodes if I were to just do it all on cam. So uh, let's dig right in here. As you can see, we've got them all finished, and I'll show you how I did it right now. All right, um, so first we go down and get all our corners here, and that goes right here. And we're just gonna wait, this is the first one coming back, we're gonna wait for them to regulate so we just have a bunch of them going around. Um, you can see this is coming back all the way to the start, so then we'll just plop one right here. The ones that are coming from the generator will hit this, and then the ones that are in circulation will hit this. And as you can see, we have exactly enough to get it done there. So, that's number one. Okay, on to number two. <coughs> Alright, so first you're going to blow up that there, hit the switch up in the corner here. And then you just uh, reflect it down, and it goes into here, comes down, and opens up your exit. That's all there is to it. Awesome. Number three. Um, so the deal with this one is if you hit any of the red switches, uh, it closes the gate to the exit, so you, you, can't, you can no longer pass the level. So if I put one right here, for example... It hits the red, closes that, we can't finish the level anymore. So, uh, we're going to reset it, go here, and then uh, we're going to get these ready. We're going to kind of follow this flight path here. Then we can put this in, so we go from one safe exit to another, or one safe switch to another, without hitting any of these guys. Then we just interject right in the middle here, and we've got our our off ramp ready to go. Get the little rolling thunder clap at the end there. It's nice. All right, on to level four. Uh, yes. Um, so we'll see if I can remember. This one's very symmetrical. So each corner, like right here, the yellow goes to the yellow. The blue goes to the blue. Um, the green goes to the green right there. And now they're all open, so we just put some right here, and the red will go all the way around and into our exit. Yes. Awesome. Okay, on a level five. Um, now how did this one go? Seeing if I can remember it here. And then like that. I think that was it. Yep. Let's see if we have enough here. We do. Okay, so that was it. Great. I couldn't remember whether these were switched, but we got it. We got it, guys. So, level six. Onward. Um, so the trick with this one... is you got to circulate them. And let me show you, um, here's what I originally did. I kept trying this over and over and over and over and couldn't figure out why it didn't work. And then I put, um, oh no, that's not right. I think I accidentally did it right. No, I did it wrong. Well, shoot. I thought it was going to be, like, you know, show you the way I thought you were supposed to do it. Oh, here we go, like this. Goes around and then hits here, goes there. So you wait until they're all in flight. Then you just put one here, 
But when you do it this way, you get one, two, three, four, and then you can't get through. So, after much head scratching, um, I figured out that you instead need to go like, nope, that was wrong. See, even when I've done it before, now it's, it's still tricky to do. Right, so this one, now we're going to wait until we get them all in flight here. And then instead of going like here or here, we're going to go here. And then we get one, two, three, four, five. Just like that. Okay, level seven. Challenge level seven. So this flat thing always goes in the cubby. That's like how that always seems to go. Um, and then... I want to say it was like this. And then like that. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Cool. Alright, level 8, you guys. Um, ah, yes. Yeah, so I'll show you what I originally did on this one. Um, I put this here. Put that there. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't it. Um, and then it went up. And it went over. And it went down. Over. And down like that. And I knew that this couldn't be right because I had extras. So if you put this right here, you hit the switch, you get one, two, three, four. It's not enough. So, again, after fiddling around quite a bit, um, it is, you play snake with it in the end. Like that. And that goes there. Then you wait until they're all in flight, plop that there, turn it on, you get one, you get two, three, four, and you're done. So you play it like Snake. I was doing like some weird like circle in a circle thing, and it ended up being much simpler than that. So, onward, level nine. Okay, this one is like, this one's kind of a timing level. That goes there. Then you wait until there's two in between here and here. So like that. Now we've got two bouncing back and forth. You see one, two right there. Uh, now we can put this here and open the gate, hit the blue switch. And then again, we have to time it so that we place this in between the two. So something like that. And it opens just in time to let the ball through there. So, there it is. Now level 10. More, more. Okay. Um, this one, you have to split that. And then this comes right there. So that you're going the right direction. This goes over. That goes down, and then over. So you hit the red switch, and then you've got your yellow guys coming around here, and they get the job done. What was that, number 10? Okay, number 11. Challenge mode, we're doing it, guys. Um, this one had me stumped. I actually had to look this up. I kept trying to circulate them around, and I just couldn't get it sorted out. So this is the sneaky part. But you got to put both of those right there at the front. Then you build a little snake maze once again. Like this. And then this one's also a um, kind of a So we're going to go here and open the yellow. And so I tried putting one here. I'll show you what happens then. If you just put this here and you're waiting and go, okay, I got the blue, and then you put this here, but then you run out. 
So what you instead have to do is right there, right there, right there, 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 there. Uh, instead, you have to put this one. So we'll let that happen. I almost put it down, <laughs> mess it up. So you got put it. You got to put this one down first. Then you put this one down. Go one, two, three, four. Hit that, and then you have enough in the pipeline here to get the job done. So this one really threw me for a loop. I I couldn't figure this one, and then twelve, the next one. I spent a very long time trying to tease out what the heck you're supposed to do. Um, so this goes here, and we're gonna kind of set everything up. And this is why it was so tricky for me. Um, I think this is right. This is why it was so tricky for me, uh, is that you have to prep everything beforehand, and then you just need enough of them going around. Is it right here? Yeah, I think so. So those go down. These go up. Three, four. We need another five there. So one gone, two gone, three gone. That's open just in time, and it flips it again. So I want to do that one one more time. It's a brain bender. So again, I had to look this one up because I couldn't. Um, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to be doing. So we'll get four here to open that, four here to open that, and one, and then we'll hit it again, and it'll go just in time to open this up. So this this level seems like it was probably harder to design. Well. I mean, it was very hard to figure out, but it was, seems like it was also extremely difficult to design this level. Um, so you've got this sort of like false, I was falling for this for a while, you've got this like little false dead end and just trying to think how to use that and putting, you know, warps on either side here and whatever else. But uh, anyway, there you have it. Uh, looks like we're at about a dozen minutes for a dozen levels. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this game. I think that... Uh, Micron's a, a pretty neat game, and it's a, a simple layout, and the music is really simplistic, but the levels, some of them were really challenging. Maybe it's just me, but uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there is Workshop, Steam Workshop, so I haven't actually looked at that. Let's take a peek together. No levels. Subscribe. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, there is Workshop support, so there's player-made levels, as I understand. I haven't looked at any of those, but I imagine they only get more and more dastardly and or more and more cathartic than the um, base game levels so needless to say I hope you enjoyed friends uh, thanks for watching so much if you like this series leave me a like leave me a comment um, I'd, I'd love to hear what you think about it and we will see you next time thanks for watching let's play Micron take care friends